Hello everybody, this is Inspired Joe Man, and today we're going to be working on Naruto Uzumaki's Shippuden Jacket. And it's going to be the female version, which is a very oversized, so it looks kind of boyfriend-ish material. I did this because it's comfort for conventions and otherwise, but let's go ahead and get the tutorial started. If you have any questions about the accessories, leave them in the comments down below. First things first, always get all of your materials. So the naming of the stores that you can get any of these materials from are going to be Joann's, Walmart, Target, Hobby Lobby, or any other craft store that's in your local area. I chose either one of those stores to get most of my craft materials. But to start off, I'm going to lay out my shirt to see how I want the layout to be for the actual outfit for Naruto's jacket. I chose two extra large shirts and I'm laying it over each other to see how the fitting I want it to be exactly and if I want it tight or small or not, if I just wanted to be like a boyfriend jacket. Once I decide how I want the pattern to actually visualize and look like in its perspective, I'm gonna start making some cuts, which I'm gonna cut this shirt in half to make the half part of Naruto's jacket from the orange section and then I'm going to cut pieces of the black t-shirt to make that part of the section of the jacket as well. By the way, don't worry about if your cutting is not precise. As long as it's straight as possible, that can be fixed later on when you go ahead and sew the parts together. Lining up your sections for the black and the orange is very important so that the zipper doesn't get malfunctioned. But once I actually use my scissors, I'm going to cut any additional leftover pieces that aren't necessary before I start pinning down the orange and the black together. So I'm just making way for the zipper through the orange and the black so that once it goes underneath the sewing machine, everything is done in one shot. And here's a demonstration of why it's important because once you line everything up with using your sewing pin, once you sew it down, everything is going to look exactly how it should be. But be careful when you use stretchy material like this because you don't want rigid edges like I do here. All right, so we're getting somewhere. You got the main part done, and now all we have to do is add the sleeves to make it the long sleeves. Now, I made mine more fitted around the lower of my arm, but you can make it as loose as you want because it is going to be oversized, but I did mine a different structure. I just used a leftover shirt and made sleeve patterns from it, and I'm going to use my sewing pins now to pin everything together to make sure it's the approximate length. Even if it's too long, you guys can adjust it later. So it's always good to have more material than it is to have too less of a material. Here is exactly where I have my pins lined up to meet the shirts are equal, but once I have that, I need to get rid of this extra material that's not needed on the sleeve. Now you're going to take your scissors and cut that out, then pin it down so that you don't lose that trace. And then sew it up all together so that you have one sleeve done, and you can use the same method on the other sleeve of the jacket. Do you remember what I said about having too much fabric? Well, for me, now that I have just the right fitting I want, I'm going to go in and cut off the extra and then sew down what I want it to be so it's not too oversized and uncomfortable for me. Now, to finish off the fitting, you definitely need to fix Naruto's collar area and have it structured, but I'm going to actually fold over that fabric once I have something in there to keep it sturdy and straight. 
What I'm using is actual felt material because it's at least sturdy enough to keep it standing up. You don't have to use felt material, they do have actual material for this in actual Joann's and any other fabric store. But I'm going to go ahead and fold it over once I align my bone structure inside of the collar so it stands up correctly for Naruto. Now let's get to the juicy parts of being fun with the detailing. Now I'm going to start with Naruto's big red circle that's obviously on the back. So I'm going to use some felt material and cut it out in a circle and then use fabric paint to help actually make that design more vivid and bright. I did have to go over it two to three times to make sure that coat was very structured, but I did use a phone as a reference to see the actual design for Naruto's symbol. Alright, once you've finished that, you can definitely do the other materials and accessories with the felt and fabric paint, and then this is how your outfit should actually be completed and look like once everything's put together. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is a really easy costume that makes a big impact, and you can easily wear a chick convention without overstressing yourself with costly crunch. But I had a lot of fun making this, and I hope you guys had a lot of fun making it too. Thank you guys so much for actually watching this video and being a subscriber. If you haven't yet, hit that red button and get in the ball and watch some of my other cosplay tutorials. But thanks so guys so much. I love you guys. And don't forget to spread peace, love, and happiness. And I'll see you ladies and gents later. Bye. It's totally going on the bloopers. <laughs>